I think we're going back and forth hmm. uh, on this matter. I think that's the clear cut answer because, uh, uh, of course, we need to appreciate the pocket of excellence in certain municipalities. Such as which one, though? I mean, that, that's uh, quite important. Um, um, the important uh, municipalities to note, I mean, the city of Cape Town, I'm talking about the big ones and the small ones. You, you talk about uh, the Fetahomu local municipalities and, and Entan Seni district municipalities. Those I can pick right on the spot. But uh, like as I'm saying, those are characterized by clean audits, but uh, the relationship between between clean audit and uh, service delivery on the ground is still Let me challenge. pick up on that answer. I mean, if you, if you look at Cape Town, for instance, what makes it shine? The, the, the infrastructure uh, that is put together, uh, and especially in the metros, uh, uh, that, that give you the indicators that there is pro- progress and uh, not back and forth. I think I'm responding on the back and forth, uh, uh, but the major plans that are rolled out there it gives an indication, and also it's strengthened by our HSRC, uh, the the state of the cities of, of, of a 10-year period that shows some improvements there. I would like to spend quite a bit of time then on that example, but also if you were to juxtapose then Cape Town, take Cape Town and, and look at other metros such as Durban, Johannesburg, uh, Nelson Mandela, for instance, what is it that the other metros are not doing that Cape Town is doing? Um, I mean, the, the quick example there of uh, you still have uh, 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 performance uh, management, which is uh, critical because you still have indications of uh, irregularities of, and, uh, of expenditures. And uh, a case in point is uh, at Aquini, uh, Kurulene and Tswani. So, but uh, all in the same scale, I will say that uh, the, there's progression, but once they are beset with these kinds of uh, uh, challenges, therefore, it, it be put me in a book, uh, back, back foot. Where does it start? Does it start with uh, political willingness? Does it start with uh, uh, leadership? And if it is leadership, what about leadership? Um, I think the, the fish uh, rot from the head. And, uh, and that, that also boils down to the leadership because... Uh, um, we have instruments uh, that uh, indicate that if there is a regularity, for example, we have internal audit mechanisms. We also have performance management, so, and, and as a result, some of these uh, come very early, but the leadership are not cracking the whip, and, and that's a cause for concern. Right. Let, let's go over then uh, to to uh, Lucas in in, in Pulukwane. Your thoughts generally on the effectiveness of this strategy. Well, uh, I think uh, if you take it uh, on on a general basis, one can say um, uh, there hasn't been enough time to gauge the the progress because, as you will know, this was launched and uh, it came almost at the same time when municipalities were going for uh, local government elections. And therefore, the, the... the, the spreading of the implementation of the turnaround strategy. Uh, the attention was uh, defocused to, to the campaigning uh, by municipalities and, and because of the, the elections you have now a new crop of uh, councillors and uh, uh, you will know that uh, the, uh, on the administrative side we always have this uh, high turnover of uh, municipal managers. So uh, one can say um, they have also put a target of uh, Operation Clean Audit, which is in 2014. So one can say that uh, while there are uh, challenges that are being faced, more especially when it comes to, to the implementation, uh, you can say that there, there have been many issues that came into the picture. You will also remember that uh, uh, as... Hmm. The, the program was unfolding that there was another uh, this outcome uh, nine of uh, 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 service uh, agreements which have to be signed between the, the, the national minister, the MECs for local government and the mayors of the, the municipalities. Okay. So, 
But sorry to interrupt you because I think you make an important point, but also that needs to be followed up. You say that uh, the the new councillors, uh, perhaps there hasn't been enough time because you've heard new councillors at this uh, tier of government. But some look at that as an opportunity because they say with new councillors, you were then supposed to get people who, one, have the necessary skill or at least make sure that they are orientated. Uh, there is an orientation. People have the financial uh, skills that are necessary to over, to play oversight roles that people have uh, are well aware and they are able to right from the beginning implement this turnaround strategy so it would have given you then enough time to assess yes um what one can say is that uh, there are the, the diagnosis was very good uh, of the program but um, the challenges as well are enormous because um, if you check um, the, the the high turnover, uh, uh, both in the the municipal uh, politicians and also the administrative officials, because uh, if you check around the country, you will realize that uh, uh, most municipalities are being run by uh, acting municipal managers, and uh, uh, as they they, they uh, people uh, jokingly uh, joke about it, they say uh, it, it looks like municipalities have become Hollywood. In in other words, they are being run by actors, and mm-hmm. in a situation like that, uh, you you have a situation where uh, programs that are put in place uh, will suffer the implementation part because uh, the people who must uh, provide leadership are are not forthcoming. And in the process, you you have uh, this uh, politicking. You will know that one of the very good uh, diagnoses that was made was that uh, uh, they they have realized that uh, one of the main problems was that uh, they were deploying uh, politicians in senior uh, management uh, local government positions and therefore the, 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 the government even intervened by way of changing the Municipal Systems Act to introduce a clause in the Act that will prohibit a party a political office bearers from holding uh, senior positions in the municipalities. Okay. But you will know uh, the outcry that ensued uh, after that uh, bill was signed into law it looks like uh, people were not uh, welcoming this and uh, they they wanted to continue as they were uh, before mm. All right. You know what? Let's let's introduce the minister now, the the minister of cooperative governance and traditional affairs, Minister Richard Baloy, joining us from our parliamentary studios. Minister, good morning to you. Good morning and morning to the listeners. Thank you very much. Well, I've got two guests who have made their views very much known in as far as this matter is concerned. Professor Kanyane, for instance, is saying that we're going back and forth in terms of trying to implement this turnaround strategy. In other words, we we just stuck in one position. Okay. Uh, you would you would have heard a little bit of what uh, Lucas uh, is saying there in, in our. Look on the studios where we're suggesting that, well, among other things, uh, this this fear of government is becoming a bit of Hollywood, where everyone is acting. Um, there isn't any any leadership then. Okay. Yeah, your responses, please. No, no. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, firstly, let me indicate that uh, it is true that the turnaround strategy was well intended. There is a lot to learn from it. What we are doing at the moment is to fast track the implementation of issues that we believe if we do we'll be able to address the two aims of the turnaround strategy which is the question of confidence and the question of strengthening our municipalities we we are identifying five things uh, that that we say this should be put at the center in as far as as going forward one is the in the issue of governance quite a number of issues have to be addressed when it comes to, to, to governance. And we then see ours is to enhance good governance. But exactly what is it that we observe at the moment? The issues around the the relevance of the IDPs, all what is in the, is it addressing a, and talking to the needs of the people? Are we sure that in all municipalities, the IDPs are product of public participation, talking to the needs of the people? or it's a question of parachuting consultants to actually communicate what they think are priorities for the communities. We need to strengthen in the area of the filling of vacancies. That's your very right. In terms of the Systems Act, of course, we, we amended it to come with prescriptions in terms of how you do that and stuff like that, who you should not take on board. The issue here, it takes state of readiness by all players uh, all players here I'm talking about at our municipalities you know state of readiness to actually deal with these things it should be nothing 
less than competence that informs that a person has to be appointed. Sure. So, but, but, but Minister, sorry to interrupt you because again I'm going back here. You, you seem to be saying these are the things that need to be done but th- this this strategy was developed and adopted in 2009. Yes. Have these things not been done? No, no. Look, we are, we are then saying what are we learning from the strategy? Let's let's image and, and, and not talk concepts but take the things an assessment was done in 2009. Now, the question that we're saying is, what is the state now? You know that between 2009 and now, there has been elections, there have been new councillors who came into the picture. The issue is from each municipality. What is the state? In as far as as, as five issues, the issue of service delivery, good go- I mean, governance, how we fight corruption, financial management, infrastructure development. Those are the key things that so, we're then saying. So we- between 2009 and now, there's only been an assessment. There hasn't been any implementation. No, there has been implementation. But you're talking about elections, Minister. No, no, no. What I'm has talk- happened? I'm talking about the priority. I'm then saying, as you have heard, yes, you have heard that the, uh, those gentlemen were speaking before to then say, it, it, it has been both a, a backward and, and, and forward. But look, what has happened is that, of course, we do have pockets of excellence in the area of governance. We have areas where service delivery is visible. We have areas where they, they fight corruption. But financial management in some areas, of course, are done. But what we are seeing is that we are not already at the ultimate point where the turnaround strategy was telling us to go. That's why now we are saying ours is to fast-track the move.